the cooler air in these hills may have provided a welcome escape for the wealthy citizens of Hanoi, but they've been home to some of Vietnam's many indigenous groups for centuries. I'm here in winter. It may be a little misty, but this is a good time to visit because the rainy season's over and it's warm. That's a bit of a climb. So, this is a family settlement. There are over 50 ethnic groups around Vietnam and six different ones live up here around this area called Sapa. The family of the Red Zhao, famous for their medicines and beautiful embroidery, have agreed to meet me. Hello. Oh, hello. How are hello. you? My name is Mei Lai. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah. You want to come with me to the forest to cut the medicine? Yeah, no, that sounds yes. great. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to okay. have a go And my friend come with me. And they've said I could try one of their legendary herbal baths. But first, we need to collect the herbs. Interesting commute to work. <laughs> yeah, good exercise. It is good exercise. So I'm heading up the hill behind their house with family friend Becca and May Lai. You cut this one? Yeah, this one, and then we also do for the hobo bar. The smell and then for the protect the mosquito. Oh, it protects the mosquitoes? Yeah. 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 It's like, it smells a little bit like that sort of mosquito <laughs> stuff you get. Yeah. Uh, this also for the bath, also very uh, good for the bond. If some people, they fall down to break the leg, we can use this to put in the leg and then we keep about one hour. That is good for the bond. <laughs> this is uh, for indigo. Oh, that's indigo, is it? Yeah, yeah. indigo. Oh, I've heard of indigo. indigo. Yeah. We use it to make our clothes like a blue color. Yeah. You see this is we use, we make the color to put in our fabric. Are you want to yeah. try if I do your hand blue? I, I help yeah. you now. Yeah. And then you can have to make the lips build together. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But a green after you keep for five, ten minutes and the blue come up. OK, so if I stop now, that yeah, will come up blue? Yeah, you can stop, yeah. yeah, yeah. That medicine and then we can make tea also. So the tea, is that, what does that help with? Is that for digestion? Good for, we make some time, we drink some uh, rice one. And we got the a little bit sick, and we have to use that medicine for drinking. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a hangover cure. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> We've only come about 100 foot from your house, and there's all these different herbs just straight away. In the forest, actually, we have about 55 different kinds of herbs for the bath. People here, we live on the mountain. We don't have any hospital in the village. And when the people get sick, uh, everyone, they have to find the plants. Knowing which herbs can be used as medicine was a necessity. But then other uses emerged too, like the indigo dye. Oh, now you see your head is getting blue. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's starting yeah. to turn blue. My hand too. Also getting oh, blue. Can I look in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, both for you. How can I see? Wow. How long will it stay blue? Oh, they can stay uh, for you like a week. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, we go back? Yeah, let's go back. With the herbs collected, it's back down the hill for a chance to see their homestead where my bath awaits. Come in. Yes. Duck my head. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Yes. Cooking. OK, got some cooking going on. Yeah. My friend makes tofu. Well, that looks like hard work. Yeah, very hard work because uh, we have this soya bean we grow here. Nice. Yeah. It's big, isn't it? Yeah, be it careful. Uh, watch out. Uh. Hard wood as well. Be careful. Yeah, I'm ducking again. <laughs> this is the bad half. Oh, look at this. Yeah, they have about the hot water. You can try how hot you want. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's hot, but it's OK, I think. Yeah, that's lovely. Right. Well, yeah. you should go. I should get changed. Yeah. And to be honest, okay. uh, Enjoy. you're not going to watch. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. It smells great, too. And apparently, it's going to be good for my back, for my skin, for my bones, for my muscles, for my joints. 
it's kind of amazing the setup they've got here, don't you think? I mean, subsistence farmers, they've got everything they need on the land to eat, and all the medical stuff they need. In fact, they're so good at it, people come from miles around to get it. You know, with all our modern ways, we think we've got it sorted. I'm not sure that this isn't a better way to live. <laughs>